Hello students, welcome back to Rosie Maths class. Today we shall learn how to represent square root of 11 on number line. So for this you need a ruler and a compass. You can use a protector also. If you have seen my other videos, I have used a protector. Here I am going to use a compass to draw it. Okay, so a ruler and a compass is sufficient. Now first you take your ruler and draw a line of any length. Draw arrowheads like that. Mark a point 0 here. So this is 0 as well as you can call it point O. So point O is 0. Now take your compass and any length here. That will be our unit length. You don't have to measure it. You can take any length here. Keep the metal point here and you make 3 arcs. Cut 3 arcs from this point. So we will cut 3 arcs. 1 2 3 If you want you can cut an arc this side also However this is not required Now we will label this as 1 2 3 And this side is negative 1 Ok Now this point here Label this point as A So this is O and this is A now at A we have to draw a 90 degree angle. For that we are going to use the compass. If you want you can use a protector also. Keep the metal point here. Draw a semicircle like this. Now don't change the length. One mark here. One up here. One down here. Okay. Again the same length and so we are getting a point of intersection here. We are going to join this point and this point. Now take this measurement that is from 1 to 0 or 2 to 1 because this is one unit. We need one unit length and keep the metal point here. Mark an arc here. This point is point B. Join O B. So this length is 3 units. 1, 2, 3. This length is 3 units and this length here is 1 unit. So we need to find out this length. So O B squared is equal to 3 units that is OA squared plus AB squared. 3 squared plus 1 squared. OB squared is equal to 9 plus 1. OB squared equals 10. OB equals square root of 10. OB equals square root of 10. That means this length is square root of 10. This is a right angle triangle 90 degrees here. And in a right angle triangle, we know we can use the Pythagoras theorem, right? According to the Pythagoras theorem, OA squared plus AB squared is equal to OB squared. And that's how we got square root of 10. Now using this as the base, we are going to draw one more perpendicular here using our compass. So take your compass. Draw an arc like this. Any measurement you can take. From here, one arc like this, one arc like this and one here. We need to make a little big. So this is the point of intersection. The extra join this point and this point. Now take one unit length from here. Put the metal point at B. Cut an arc. So this point here is C. This is C. Now join O and C. This length here is square root of 11. Now let's check how this is square root of 11. This is a right angle triangle. In triangle O, 
बी सी ट्राइंगल ओ बी सी दिस इज वन यूनिट दिस लेंथ इज वन यूनिट ओ सी स्क्वेर दैट इज दिस लेंथ ओ सी स्क्वेर इज इक्वल टू ओ बी स्क्वेर प्लस बी सी स्क्वेर ओ बी स्क्वेर प्लस बी सी स्क्वेर नाउ ओ बी इज स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ टेन स्क्वेर प्लस वन स्क्वेर सो स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ टेन स्क्वेर वुड बी टेन टेन प्लस वन सो ओ सी स्क्वेर इज टेन प्लस वन और ओ सी इज इक्वल टू स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ इलेवन सो दिस लेंथ हियर इज स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ इलेवन नाउ टेक यूर कॉम्पस एंड मेजर दिस डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम ओ टू सी नाउ टेकिंग दिस एज द रेडियस यू कट एन आर्क हियर ऑन द नंबर लाइन This point here represents square root of eleven. Let's say this point is point Q. So Q corresponds to square root of eleven because we have taken OC as the radius and this is square root of eleven. So OQ would also be square root of eleven. So this is how you need to represent square root of eleven on the number line. Hope you find this video helpful. Thank you.